Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is quarter to six on Sunday. The rain that was supposed to happen today has moved out pretty much till tonight. So we say hi, Grant. <laughs> we're gonna head over to uh, Seekonk as per usual, and then we're going to head up to Grafton and see how it is. Um, opening day for Grafton. I'd really kind of call this opening day for Seekonk. I don't Hopefully. call anything opening day until after Memorial Day. <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. I guess we'll see how it it's goes. It's like the preseason, man. Preseason. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll call it preseason. That's fine. Hopefully, we can get some good <laughs> shit. Um, I did fine last time at Seekonk. Uh, last week, I did pretty good with toys. Um, let's see if we can make it three weeks in a row with getting some kind of pretty good hit, uh, which would be nice. So let's get there, wait in line, and go ahead. And, and it's 52 degrees out, which actually is not bad. I thought it was going to be colder, man. Which is great. We've been out here when it's been like 20 degrees. So, yeah, buddy. All right, stay tuned. See what we see. <laughs> Bye bye. Cowboys in Mesa. <laughs> tell him? Half a head. No. Is that his name? Half head? No, that's that's a leather head. What? Yeah. Yeah, we go look through that pile a little more. It's all together, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm gonna go for years. <laughs> These ain't been seen in like ten years. <laughs> <sighs> Look at that. Baxter Stockman's wings. Yeah, well, where's his head? That's not <laughs> Baxter Stockman. It would have been. Maybe. Donatello. Charles Barkley? Yeah. How much on this guy? Ten. Ten bucks? Ten, yeah. So I scored a giant PS2 lot. Did you? The other day. It yeah. Was 275 games I got for two hundred dollars. Kuan was one of the games. No way, really? Yeah, there was a whole bunch of ill stuff like uh Hotel Hotel, Western Samurai or Samurai Western. Oh really? Yeah, a lot of ill stuff in there. But That's I got cool, a dude. whole bunch of it that I was gonna take up to Rainham to see if my buddy was interested in some of it. Yeah. Um, if you want to take a look, I got a box in the truck to see if there's anything you're interested in. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll definitely take a look. Um, Whenever you're ready. Yeah. You want to take my number down? Yeah, let me, uh... Stay. Eh, could be better. It's still early. 
Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. What's your number? 508. Yeah. 837. Yeah. 8596. And my name's Brian. Brian. I'll just call it so it hits your phone. All right. And then whenever you're ready, just give me a call. Yeah, yeah. Walk out All right. There. Sounds good. I'm pretty much done in here, but. All right, man. I appreciate it. All right, cool. I know I do have um, one of the ones I did get was obscure, the first one. Oh, really? And I already had it, but it doesn't have a manual. Oh, okay. It sucks, but. All right, I'll, I'll hit you up shortly. Potter. Give me two for five bucks each. Five bucks each? Yeah. You don't you want a, a monster? Good morning. Uh, you the Another one right there. Yeah, but there's a the, the thumb. Welfare on it, and it's a whole set of keys. So if you've lost your keys, we have them up here in the blue container. He's right up the table. Thank you. What are you getting other stuff in here? Oh, this is priceless. So like this guy. A little, little busty. Uh, all box. So like this guy. That old guy. Yeah. Please. Nineties. <laughs> Mm, two bucks. Yeah. One week later. Steve Austin. I don't know what that goes to. I do. Hmm? She's all kind of wonky, but. How much are Five dollars. Five bucks. Weird. Yeah. I think it was already done. All right, I'm gonna grab him. All right. What does that thing do? This? Yeah. It's a camera. It's just a camera. Okay. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I record. Uh, what, you, what, you, what you buy? Yeah, pretty much. I put it online and people cool. watch and sure. just a little, little thing I do for fun. I mean, that's, yeah, I do things are fun too, but that's <laughs> yeah. kind of neat, that yeah. camera. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Yeah. Gonna cool find um, some Star Wars figures from the early 90s. They're like PVC style, but they're also like droids and wicket and stuff. So, five bucks. A buck a figure, so why not? going on everybody just want to show you my pickups from the flea market the past couple weekends and thrifting um i got and a toy show because i didn't take any video at the toy show so i'm just going to add in what i picked up here um don't mind the mess on either side i'm really trying to get stuff put away um so I'll tell you where I got everything here. I'm going to clear this off and I'll show you the stuff from the toy show um and a couple other things. So let's dive in. Uh, I actually got these two G.I. Joe vehicles today at Goodwill. Uh, this one's complete. Uh, it's got the pilot, which is Firefly. It's got all the missiles and everything. Uh, this complete in good shape can go for 50 to 60 bucks. This guy is the uh, 2004 reissue. Um, I'm not sure where it was kept because you can see the glass is kind of yellowed and a little, like, cracky. Um, I thought maybe... No, I thought maybe it could be a smoker, but it doesn't smell like smoke, so 
um, that's definitely a, a plus. Uh, but these are nice pieces. This is a uh, newer GI Joe from like the, the movie. And this is obviously just a reissue of the his tank, which is nice. It's actually pretty close to the original his tank. It just feels a little more sturdy. Um, and the, the wheels are bigger. So, uh, 20 bucks for the pair. Not bad. I was all right with that. Supposedly they had a ton of other GI Joe stuff that I must've just missed because I was there yesterday. So, but Hey, it's all good. Um, Diving into the flea market, uh, I grabbed this guy at the flea market along with a couple figures here. Um, I can't think of his name from Dukes of Hazard, and then Cowboys of Mumesa, uh, Mighty Ducks, and what else? Oh, I grabbed these two Pokemon Happy Meal toys. Uh, I think that was it from that vendor. I paid like five bucks for everything. This is cool. I can't find any information on it. It's basically like a mold kit. The, the building is like the mold and then you put in the compound and then you can make the figures. So it's cool. It's all sealed on the inside, which is really nice. Um, see if I can open this up real quick without ruining it. Come on. Um, I tried to look up any kind of comps on this thing. I can't open it. I'm going to rip it. <laughs> all right. So as you can see, it's all still sealed on the inside. Uh, I couldn't find any comps on it at all. So I have no idea what it goes for. I don't think it's like a super expensive piece. Um, but it could be a more uncommon Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic Park Lost World toy. So maybe I'm going to throw it up online and see what happens. Grabbed this guy at a yard sale. Um, he's kind of beat i got him for super cheap so i got him for like three bucks um he's supposed to have a remote control but it's been cut off so this is just going to be more for you know something fun for somebody to put on the shelf or for pieces um still a nice piece i'm gonna put it out at uh, my yard sale or the one i'm doing later so uh let's see dive down here before i get into that stuff grabbed this awesome ultraman bank at the seekonk flea market um he looks very wonkily painted as you can see the paint's kind of it's good but it's it looks like you can leave some to the imagination obviously somebody busted the bottom but that's fine he's gonna go on my shelf nice piece for sure very happy to find that paid 10 bucks for it so um a couple of the flea market finds the stormtrooper came with the original land speeder this is the one from 77 uh it is a little beat up but overall it's all there um still nice colors nice piece so you know i'm not gonna leave it behind for a couple bucks uh grab this mario ball it's newer it's like 2000 2006 so still 15 years old but uh just kind of a little neat mario piece uh let's see i grabbed this guy this is a uh, toy biz marvel Toy Biz Marvel Legends figure. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he's one of the Spider-Man villains. Grabbed him. Uh, the Captain America. And I think there was something else. It might not be here. Basically, paid like a buck a piece for those figures. I think there was another Captain America. Um, still, cool finds and easy flips for the loose stuff that I do. Uh, found this lot here, which was really cool. They're all PVC. Um, they're from 1990 Star Wars. Um, it's the whole set as far as I know. It's like off of the droid series, which you can kind of tell on the R2 because of the coloring. He's like a brighter blue with the, the bright red. Uh, nice piece. These guys can go for five to like 30 bucks a piece. Wicket here is the hardest one to find. Uh, and these are super, super clean. Uh, there's no like, you know, beat up marks or anything. I think they were on somebody's shelf and then they got donated. Um, so I'm going to sell this as a set put it up online and see what I can get for it. Um, I see people asking about 150 bucks pl plus for a set, um, but none have sold from what I can tell. So, you know, probably like a hundred dollar set. Still really nice shape, really nice pieces. Grabbed these two swords at, I wanna, one of them kind of works. Uh, grabbed them for a buck a piece at the flea market and kind of cool. Uh, Xander loved playing with him. I might give him the other one because it doesn't really work. Uh, but still, you know, it'd be cool if it was like a letter opener type thing. But, you know, small sort of Thundera. Uh, I also picked up a Johnny Cage McFarlane Mortal Kombat. He is starting to go up in price too. The box on the back has got a little rip on it, but he's still sealed. 
paid 15 bucks for it. You can go for like 50 to 60 bucks now. Uh, luckily I found mine in retail before he spiked, but he's a nice figure overall. I got one on the shelf myself. Uh, let's see. Then I found Dr. Fate here, which is, uh, kind of uncommon in really nice shape. There's a little stain on the cape there, but that's all right. Uh, I found him at That's Entertainment for IDS. I did pay 28 bucks for it, but he can go to 45 to 50 bucks. So it was definitely a nice piece. I really picked it up because he's so clean. Uh, it was the main reason I paid that much for him. It's a nice figure to have. It's not one that you see very often from that line. Um, so give me a second and I will show you the rest of the haul. All right, I'm back. Uh, some really cool stuff here. Uh, first off, I picked these up a couple weeks ago at uh, Goodwill. I just kept forgetting to show them off. They've actually been in my car, but I paid 99 cents a piece. And it was really cool to see some 90s cartoons. Uh, my buddy Mike wants the Street Shark ones, so they might end up going to him, see if I can't trade him something. Uh, but I just love, like, it's got, like, a holographic cover. So, very cool. Uh, swing over to this real quick. Just picked it up today uh, from some friends of mine. This is the one that I picked up probably a month, month and a half ago. I sent it out to get graded. I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit better, but upon getting it back and looking at it, it was definitely not the greatest. But you know what? If nothing else, uh, doing it through them, I got a pretty good deal on getting it graded. And even as it sits, I would say this is like probably like 500 bucks. Um, sevens go for about a thousand. So still, it's it's overall nice. The colors are good. And if nothing else, it protects it. And it gives a nice protector. So this is going to be in my collection at least for a while. So really like it. Nice piece. Very happy to have that. Everything else here is from the Boxboro Toy Show that I did last weekend, um, which was really cool. Uh, I got all of these pretty much from one guy uh, in kind of like two different transactions. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, another buddy of mine came into the show, brought these in for trade. Uh, I actually only need Tunnel Rat. Um, but I can't go wrong with having full card file backs. So those are nice to have in the collection. I'm going to upgrade those. Um, this I got off another vendor for 10 bucks. We tried to make a trade for one of my Shoguns, uh, but unfortunately it didn't work out. Uh, really nice piece. I actually have one in my collection, but mine's a little beat up, so this is going to be an upgrade. Uh, so 10 bucks can't go wrong with that for Voltron. And now this lot here. So uh, one of the guys that came in he had a ton of gi joe stuff and all right sorry about that guys this is andrew came downstairs <laughs> um so i got these four pieces uh from one guy i think i said that so basically what it was is he came with a ton of gi joe stuff i didn't get any video of it i wish i did but i was still in the middle of setting up my table and then he took this stuff out and a whole bunch of us vendors kind of went over and picked some stuff out so what i did was i picked out uh the rapid fire um the uh, fun school version of, uh, why can't I think of his name, um, Wild Weasel, because he's like bright orange. He's really cool. I love this figure. And I picked out the Starship Troopers bug. This was actually the first thing I grabbed. You guys know how much I love my Starship Troopers. This thing is super clean inside the box. Uh, super happy to pick it up. I've actually had one on my watch list on eBay for quite a while. So... I grabbed those three, and I asked him uh, if he wanted PayPal, because I didn't, hadn't, hadn't made any money yet, because we were still setting up. Um, he was cool, put it aside for me. I paid him off later on, which is good, vendors helping out vendors, uh, but this is all personal collection stuff, so I didn't mind paying. But for those three pieces there, I paid $150. Um, I don't mind that. It was, it was worth it. It's going to my personal collection. I've been looking for him for a good long while. Super nice, clean card. So I was very happy there. One that he had that I really wanted, I didn't pick up because it was, he had him marked for 250 was the fun school tripwire, which says bomb squad on his chest and he's all purple and black. He's probably my next and possible last, uh, fun school figure that I really want. Uh, cause it's, I like finding the, the real oddball ones. So nice piece. And last but certainly not least, I got a Predacon. This is the obviously the U.S. release Predacon. You guys know that a couple weeks ago I got the uh, Mexican red Predacon that I found at the flea market of all places. This one I got off a good buddy of mine, Scott uh, Chicarello. Basically what he did was he bought out everything the guy had left at the end of the day. And he originally had this marked at 180 um, I actually came really close to adding it to my pile. I did, and then I put it back because uh, I didn't want to start the day out spending 300 bucks. 
but later on my buddy scott came over uh we did a trade uh i traded him some gi joe's loose for an auction he was doing and he gave me this and some cash and super happy to have another one off the gi joe list wasn't necessarily looking for him carded but i got him for such a good deal uh and from a buddy i'm not upset at all so very nice very happy to have that and uh that's it guys that's everything i've gotten um since the last flea market video toy hunting all that fun stuff got a couple grail not really grail pieces but a couple pieces i've been looking for for a while which is really nice so very happy there um i know even though a four or five is not a great grade i'm very happy with that return i was hoping for like a six or a seven you know but it, hey it is what it is uh still happy to have that piece in my collection anyway that's it guys uh, i hope you liked the video smash that like button comment down below what your favorite thing was uh if um, you want to follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page links will be in the description and share this video if you can, and I will catch you guys next time later.